Hey guys, welcome into the reading. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. You guys, this is going to be your sidebar LOL, but it's for your season of Libra, okay? And I'll pull the sign that this reading is for at the end of the reading. We're also going to pull a short and sweet on that thing, all right? And I'm going to give you guys a buzz, the T on it, okay? So... I got titles written down over here already. I have no notes for this read these readings. Okay. Um, I just kind of happened up on the fact that this is what we were doing. And I'm gonna go back and forth between the sidebar LOL deck and the we not doing that. We are royalty deck. Okay, so let's get into it. We got between worlds, okay? So something's taking a new shape in your life, okay? Something's also being cleared up, okay? Not for you, okay? Yeah, it's being cleared up that something is not for you, viewer. All right, so we're going to get down to the bottom of it, okay? The nitty-gritty, okay? Somebody could be doing a lot of cleaning, okay? Decluttering, I like that. Good idea, okay? Changing the wind. All right, at the bottom of the deck, we have time for a nap. Okay, time for a nap. Make sure you guys are getting plenty of rest, Ooh. Make sure y'all make sure y'all sure y'all are staying hydrated. Okay. <laughs> All right. So for this one, we're gonna use the sidebar LOL. The last reading I did was Cancer, and I used we not doing that. We are royalty. So let's jump over here to sidebar LOL. For this viewer, Holy Spirit, what is the message? Show me clearly. Thank you, angels and spirit guides, for clear and precise messages. Okay, the king of cups. We're gonna take that. Oh, we got the Ten of Cups. All right. You guys rule someone's emotional world, okay? I don't know what that's about, okay? Or you guys are in control. I feel like this could be your own emotional emotions. You guys are in control of your own emotions, okay? All right. And something's a match, okay? Something's a match. Somebody could have lit a fire, okay? Okay. Someone could have exposed something or someone. All right. Let's see what we got. I feel like all of the above. Let's get it. Something's a match. Somebody exposed somebody. Um, somebody lit a fire. Okay. Sidebar LOL. What's going on, Holy Spirit, for this reading for my viewer? Thank you, Holy Spirit, for using me as a channel to get messages to your people. Mm, let them be clear and precise, Father. What am I telling your people here, y'all? Let's take these glasses off. I keep forgetting when I come back home, take my glasses off. Okay, so we got Will of Fortune and we got a tower. Ooh, money, 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 money. Money. <laughs> That's what I just heard. Okay, you could be receiving some communication about some type of increase, financial abundance. Okay, a level up, something like that. Okay, level up, level up. Level up, level up, level up. Okay, it's a level up. Okay, so something out here ain't for you. Let's see what it is. Okay, so we got the chariot, we got the queen of wands, and we got these four pentacles right here. It ain't for you to be breadcrumbs. That ain't for you. Ooh, my head is itching. Okay, what's at the bottom of the deck, Spirit? Death card. So that's over with. If you guys were breadcrumbing or having a like, count your pennies you know what i'm saying and just to go go get a, a a piece of bread you know what i'm saying and you've been having a like really crunch okay as it relates to like if you've been pinching financial penny pinching thank you spirit if you guys have been penny pinching that ain't for you okay the nine of wands is here expect the unexpected oh there's an ex unexpected turn of events that's about to occur Okay, you guys are going to be, ooh, I was just going to say victorious. The six of wands popped right on out. You guys are about to be victorious over this situation of penny pension or just feeling like there's not enough. Okay, or feeling like you're living check to check, something like that. Like there's some type of cushion for your pushing is coming in. Okay, now there's somebody in the background that's feeling rejected. Let's get an overall energy for this read. Okay. King of Cups, the Wheel of Fortune. When you get this information, it's going to be a tower. Whenever this communication comes in, because it's like you're going to go from things being gloomy or dark 
to you just feeling like I got a new attitude yeah okay mama got a new pair of shoes or there's something new coming in your direction okay it's definitely one is communication um uh, an understanding okay something about a processing of information okay a download this could even be a download coming towards you all right it's gonna allow you to rest like if you've been worried about something or like trying to figure out like how I'm going to make these ends meet. Okay. If you've been robbing Peter to pay Paul, if you've been, um, whatever you've been doing, okay, there's healing. Okay. Four of swords and the seven of cups. So overall energy is talking about the fact that you're going to be able to rest at these options. There's some options coming towards you. Okay. You got choices. You got options now. So you could be going from a time where you look four wands at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, you're going to feel secure. You're going to feel stable. You could be coming out of a time where you felt like there were no options or you were all out of options. You could have been all out of money. You could have you could have felt um, financially burdened or financially strapped. Okay. This could have been messing with your emotions. Do you know what I mean? Like, like not to say that our worth is tied to our money, because over here, as we royalty, we we spiritually rich AF. Okay, we ain't our emotions ain't tied to no money. But I ain't gonna lie. Okay, it does make you feel better when you do have a little, you know, a little spending money. My mama and them, my my daddy, my daddy would always tell me like, make sure you got, you know what I mean, got you a couple dollars, you know what I mean, in your pocket. You know what I mean? No matter what. Okay, whether your bills is paid or not. Make sure you got your two, three, four, five dollars, okay, in your pocket. You know what I'm saying? So, but it's a vibe, though. I'm hearing that song by Krishan Rock. I'm a vibe all the time. It's a vibe all the time. Okay, somebody could, like, feel like that. You could have felt, I don't know, I feel like that song is sad, though. So, I mean, you could have been feeling down, okay? But we got this chariot riding in. Queen of Wands coming in. To your four of pentacles to you feeling like you got to hold back there's things you see that you want you be oh i can't get that right now i can't even put that on little way because you know you got to pay to put that on you know what i'm saying y'all know what i'm talking about don't act like you don't know <laughs> okay don't act like you above the energy either don't do that okay don't do that all right but it's a vibe where it's like you about to be when this news comes right in to you Cause that's what this chariot is bringing. You gonna go from being wounded to feeling like the man, okay, or the woman, okay, or that H B I C, okay. You are gonna be feeling like on top of the world, okay. You are gonna feel like there has been some sort of adjustment. You're gonna feel this, like there's something in the spiritual realm that's being adjusted, that's being balanced out, and it's like you're about to feel that because you're gonna feel a shift in your crown. This could have to do with a shift in your mindset, a shift in your attitude, a shift in your energy. Okay, unexpectedly, you're gonna go from the Four of Pentacles to the Six of Wands. Four of Pentacles, like I said, is holding back, feeling like you breadcrumb. Feeling like you you with you the bottom of the burrow, you know what I mean? Like you you feeling low. So all of a sudden, boom, you you're on the main stage. You got the mic in your hand. It's like I don't know if this is somebody who like for someone out there, you're a celebrity or you're not a celebrity yet, but you're about to be. Like you're about to be known. You're about to be famous. Like you could have just like wrote something that's about to go viral. Viral. You could have. There's viral energy here. You're going to be at peace. You're going to be able to sit back like, yeah. You know what I mean? I feel like you're going to be able to sit back and collect. Okay? Ooh, God is highlighting your success. There's something like your success is about to be highlighted here. I feel like ain't no drama in your energy because that ain't even for you. Whoever you are, you're real chill. You're laid back. But you maybe been uptight. You've been a little bit more you know, nervous or anxious or trying to, uh, little frazzled, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. Usually I'm more calm. Usually I'm more, I could just, I'm more, you know, everything just, you know, and you could still have that attitude. Like you could be in the energy of faith over fear. Like you could be leaning on your faith. Like, God, I know you about to bring me a blessing in. I ain't even going, you know what I mean? You have a, you have a rich mindset. Okay. Rich thinking. 
Taurus could be significant. Okay, I did a reading a while back and it was titled Rich Thinking or Rich Mentality, something like that. But it's like your mind is aligned with what it is you desire to bring in for yourself. And the Four of Pentacles ain't a part of that alignment. You already know that. You no, It's like you've mastered. I like your energy. Whoever you are, you've mastered the fact that what's going on around you, that's a facade. It's all fake. It's not real. What's real is as above. Whatever's happening above. You know, like whatever you're going through right now, this is temporary. If you don't know, let me let you know. Okay? Like whatever you are, you're enduring or battling against right now, um, it's temporary. You could feel like you're doing something all on your own. You could have felt like you made a bad business investment and you're like trying to recover from that. Or you could be recovering. Like this is a recovery energy. You're in recovery. Whoever you are, your finances are in recovery. Your, your emotions are in recovery. Your money is in recovery. I feel like you you don't you don't whoever you are you don't talk a lot about your business because I don't see any air here like there's not a direct air sign here besides the healing the four swords it's like you don't you know not no you know whoever you are you you just chill you like I'm not even gonna talk out of turn I know what God can do like you don't get wrapped up in your mind you're not wrapped up in your mind about none of this. You you know what you're doing. Whoever I'm talking to, you already know what you're doing. You know how to secure the bag. So in the season of Libra, I just see you doing more of that. But I also see something turning around for you for the better. Like if things weren't financially adding up on paper, you know what I'm saying? I feel like things are about to add up on paper and you're about to have a little cushion. Okay. And it's going to be as a result of something that you've created. Something from your heart as well. or Something you're very passionate about could cause you to go viral. Okay? I'm seeing that in this read. Let's get some tea on it. I don't have a lot to... I mean, I'm sorry. Everybody else's reading is 30 minutes, 20 minutes. This reading is like... to the. It's just... It's real... There it is. You know what I'm saying? Like... I know what God, whoever you are, you have this attitude or maybe you should, I don't know, but I feel like you have this energy of like, I know what God has for me. You are, you, you know how to stand in faith and not fear. And I feel like you don't even, like, even when you're going through a tough time, you don't even just disclose that to everybody. You know, you just be like, yeah, I'm good. God got me. You know what I'm saying? God got me. And we gonna be all right. Hey, we gonna be all right. It's that type of a vibe. That's all I'm getting for you. I just get like, you already know it's going to be all right. It may not be all right right now in your present circumstance, but you know that it gets greater later. You know, you're like, mm -mm. why would I dwell on what's not going right when I can think about how good it's going to be when when this does come my way? I can I can think about how this is going to feel. I can, You know what I'm saying? That might be the only correction I could see that you could, or the only advice I could give you. Like, if you're not emotionally aligned with what it is you're trying to bring in, then focus on getting the emotions aligned with what it is you're trying to bring in. Because then, shoot, your manifestation going to come that much quicker. You're going to be attracting exactly what it is that you want. But it's here for you, okay? It's here for you. And it's like God is, is balancing something out in the spiritual realm to where... Because it's something you're going through, honey. Whoever I'm talking to, it's something you're going through that you wasn't even supposed to be going through. But it's like you were because God don't make no mistakes at the same time. So it's like, I don't know. I get like God could have put you in a situation, but he puts you in a position to be used by him. You could have asked for that. You could have been like, Lord, use me as a vessel. Y'all, I say that all the time. I pray that, Lord, use continue to use me as a vessel. You know what I'm saying? Less of me and more of you. Let it be your will, your way. You know what I mean? Align me with your plans. And it's like you did that. And so there might have been a minor setback. What appeared, that was an illusion because it appeared to be a setback, but it really wasn't. It was really setting you up for something. It was setting you up for a miracle. Yeah, it was setting you up. I'm hearing for a massive change. Okay? So you just, 
you just be ready when the wind blow. You feel me? Because that's, it's like you're, there's no communication here except for this change in the wind. When that communication comes in, though, you just be ready. I'm hearing you're going to be ready, too. Ooh, I like that because I'm hearing a song by Yolanda Adams. And she says, I'm going to be ready, okay? <laughs> I'm going to be ready, okay? You have a, you already know that God lives deep inside of you. And I feel like you tap in. You tap, tap in. Okay? Okay. Such a Sagittarius. You could be a Sagittarius. You don't have to be. A Sag could be significant. But this says, such a Sagittarius. Buck shocks backfire every time. Yeah, God was using you. A Pisces is significant. Okay? Someone's name could be Henderson. This says, think of me. I'm just being honest, okay? The number 33 could be significant, but your song is Think of Me, and it's by someone named Henderson, okay? All right, so this is your T. Let's go ahead and see who you who you are. Who are who is this? Who are this? <laughs> How my stepdaughter say, who are this? Who are these? <laughs> I miss that little girl. Hopefully I get to get her song. So we can go do some girly stuff. I'm going to take her to this. Um, out here where I'm at, you guys, on the south side of town, they got this ice cream shop where I think I've told y'all about this ice cream before, but it's really a snow cone. And they got, um, they like make the snow cone, but inside of it is ice cream. Oh my God, y'all, it's so good. I got to get there before the summer shuts all the way off, okay? Even though we're not in summer no more, but you know, for the heat go out, I need to get one of those. So hopefully I get her so I can take her over there to that. I think she'll really enjoy that. That'll be a treat for the both of us, okay? You guys, make sure you're nurturing whoever I'm talking to. Make sure you are nurturing your inner child, okay? That will benefit you greatly in this season. Okay. Whose reading is this? Taurus. All right, Taurus. This is your reading. Okay. Okay. Let's see what we got for your short and sweet. And then I'll wrap this reading up. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope you guys enjoyed it, okay? Like I said, I don't see a bunch of drama going on surrounding you. Yeah, you could be focused on your spiritual healing, okay? Time waits for no man. I feel like you know you already know not to waste your time on frivolous energy, okay? I don't see it. I don't see it here on the board. I just don't, I don't see it. I feel like you're very protective over your energy. You're very protective over your time, Okay? Short and sweet for Taurus, Holy Spirit, for the season of Libra. Okay. Reward and fortune favors the brave. All right. This is your short and sweet. Let's see what you got at the bottom. Wow. Well, you got fear over fear or opportunity. Okay. So y'all know we're going to choose that opportunity over fear. All right. So whatever it is you have going on, remember that. All right. Mm, spiritual belts. This has been your read. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye loves.